I'm here at UCOMP US, and during the conference, I went around to each of the speakers and asked them to give me one thing they were excited about for the next year in Vue.js. There are a few things that I'm really excited about that's upcoming. So first, the official 3.0 release of the new CLI, and the upcoming 2.x next branch, which we will use the proxy system that gets rid of all the reactivity caveats that we currently have and should also theoretically improve the initial loading performance of your apps. I'm most excited about the Vue cookbook um, because it's a one way that we can get different people to contribute what they're doing with Vue. They can submit that to like as a PR and the Vue core team will look at that and review that and add that to the cookbook which means that you can share what you have with the rest of the world. And it just got released but I think the 1.0 release of Beautify, I use Beautify for all of my side projects. It's, it's great for like just implementing material design and that's one of the things that I think was missing um, from Vue was like a really, really good framework. And now that it's like matured enough to be a full production release, it's like, ah, oh, so exciting. So I'm most excited about uh, some of the cookbook and also some of the interactive examples that we're making for Vue. So in the future, I'm going to kind of work on some SVG animations that explain some of Vue internals and they can be like an interactive demo that you can kind of guide your way through. Uh, so using animation to kind of explain more deep concepts in a way that's a little bit more universal. So I'm most excited about the tools that are coming up for uh, Vue.js, the things that will help us build to make the process faster. That's what I'm most excited about. So one thing I love about Vue is how stable it's stayed over time. Uh, there are other frameworks that haven't done that same approach, and Vue has stayed consistently great with the same APIs, and I think Evan nailed it from the beginning with the single file component approach, and I hope other frameworks adopt Evan's view, pun intended, uh, for the future. One thing I'm really excited about is actually a project um, to toot my own horn that I founded, which is called View Vixens. So this is modeled after NG Girls, which is modeled after Django Girls, and it's getting people who identify as women interested in View. So we're doing free workshops and associated with, with as many conferences as we can get into. So it's really onboarding new users of Vue and getting people excited about um, being part of a community. So what I'm excited about seeing in the next year is the 1.0 release of Vue Test Utils, which is going to make testing easier for everybody that uses Vue. Uh, what I'm looking forward to most in Vue in the future is proxy support, uh, experiment with future technologies. Also, maybe there's plans to rewrite Vue uh, with TypeScript to move away from Flow, so there's a lot of cool stuff that's upcoming uh, that might help the future of TypeScript with Vue. There's a lot of caveats at the moment that we can resolve. What I'm really excited about for Vue in the next year is I can't wait to see how many designers get into web development because of it. It's so easy to pick up and it brings the magic back to the trifecta of JavaScript, CSS, and HTML. It's the perfect launching point for someone who loves to create visually and just wants to see their designs come to life. I think for the next year with Vue, I'm most excited about documentation uh, and more improvements that we can make to our documentation. So for example, there's a components composition page that I, I'd really like to create, and I, I've actually done some work on that already and, and some more work I want to do, and that, that'll be released um, probably within the next month, I'm hoping. And I'll also be completely rewriting the uh, view router and view X docs uh, because they've never really gotten the, the same love that the core docs have gotten. I'm most excited about Next2 and uh, community. Next2 will bring hot module replacement on the server side and community will also bring a place where people can share a vote and, uh, and share that knowledge and that's what I'm most excited about. I'm excited to get uh, view integration built into Herman, our design system generator. So it helps document uh, components and design tokens and anything else you might have in a design system. The next year I'm excited for more and more people from the core team, uh, but not only in Vue, but all the projects as well, like Webpack, working more and more time and doing less consulting to be able to fund themselves uh, and, and pay their expenses. And because these projects are driven by the community, I think there is a lot of potential here uh, to build something that everybody can use and that helps everybody build great products. I'm the most excited about this level of tooling that we're going to be able to provide for both TypeScript and JavaScript users by actually having the Vue community work with the TypeScript community together to create a really great experience. Thanks for watching. There were some amazing talks at ViewConf by the speakers you just saw, 
and the videos from those talks will all get posted free over on viewmastery.com in the next few weeks. And if you wanna get notified the minute they go live, you're gonna to wanna to head over to viewmastery.com, scroll down that view comp page and hit that little toggle right there to get notified. Thanks for watching.